Well, a very pleasant good day to everyone. Uh, we are departing the OK RV Park campground. And I've got a treat for you today. We're going to drive through Moab and we're going to turn right at that bridge. And we're going to go uh, two lane road up to I 70, headed north for our, uh, our big uh, Colorado part of our adventure park. I didn't get to do a walkthrough uh, with the camera. But as you can see, there's uh, plenty of space on each one of the sites. Nice little park. And the price was not too bad. Uh, full hook hookups, very nice shaded site off of the main highway, 190, I think it's 191. And uh, that means it's just really nice and quiet. That's an RV park right there. And you can see, I mean, it's literally, what, 100 feet from, from the, very close to the, So what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to take Highway 128 from the Lions Park there, just uh, short of the Colorado River. 44 miles from here to 70 via 128. So you're on 44 miles. There's Lions Park Trail. Kind of a hub to get things organized. There's a little visitor center bath. I guess it's just a bathroom over here. So this is the canyon and there is the Colorado River. So not all that busy on the roads here. I guess this is going home day for a lot of people. Just barely see the LaSalle Mountains out there in the distance. This is a pretty cool set of bridges here. We noticed somebody skate. A couple, a couple a of lot of water coming down that Colorado River. Must have been a lot of snow this year up in the in the Rockies. That's good for everybody and everything. A lot of people want that hiking trail there. Kind of a drop in the river a little bit all over in one area and then swirling there in the I haven't even seen any rafters. Oh yeah. Really surprising. I figured there'd be a bunch of them out today. That's all after church it is. Yeah, I guess. That's a nice setup right there. Drinks Canyon Campground, D-R-I-N-K-S. I don't think we could fit in there, but you got a shorter RV, you certainly could. There's only one or two left here. Everybody else is gone. Yeah, there's lots of open. You guys packing up there? They're all packing up. That's a good thing to know. Sunday's a good time to come. Mm -hmm. a better view in a motorhome than you do in the Jeep, huh? Being up high, I yeah. think.
I'm talking about. Oh, right there. I'm sure it's fine, but visually, that overhang looks really close. That last one especially. says you can't come down the Colorado River in a rubber boat with a couple of boars. Well, that was a nice little stop. Got to see a rubber rubber boat. Check over the coach. Make sure she's doing good. She's all happy as can be. Well, this is the kind of stuff you see when you get off them the blasted interstate highways. So we're approaching the Grand Junction turn on to Interstate 70 after completing the Colorado River Recreation Tour up Highway Utah Highway 128. Excellent road all the way up and I would highly recommend it. Bye, Utah. Good. Hello, Colorado. It's south of Interstate 70, uh, 
just as you enter Fruta, we are off. Well, I won't have to do that again until until I want to. I, I'll basically watch the prices as I uh, go throughout the rest of my summer. Right here. Is it RV Ranch? Yeah. It's right there. Okay. Turn right onto I 70B Frontage Road. Then this is turn left. Nobody coming? No. Because I don't want to make this a sharp turn. Move here. This where it splits here. Delta County Fairgrounds there. One thirty three burger. Hey, that, that that place is good. Good doing doing a, doing a good business. There might be a little bit of water coming down this. What do you think? Brief we'll be right there. back. Stretch our legs by the river, and it was flowing fast. Welcome to Somerset. Historical mining community. The river's over on the right-hand side. Quite a few uh, cabins, and looks like they probably were miners' homes for. 81434 if you care about the zip code of Somerset. And there's Elk Creek Mine. So there's no more. Hey. Everybody's got snowmobiles sitting on a on a flatbeds over there. Three or four of them. Beware of dog. Oop, there's where the mayor lives. 
much different. Industrial looking. Yeah, that's got to be coal. That's quite the operation, yeah. It's like they got, that's the rail line that they pour the, the hoppers full, you know. It comes out of the tower there and goes up over the conveyor belt. It's like a spillway. I'll bet that's their water supply. I bet if that dam breaks, they're in trouble. Yeah, I think they might be. just be spectacular and calm. You could see the reflection of the mountain in the water. About a mile long that reservoir. Oh, at least, no more. We are definitely going to go up for the next few miles. Looks like we may be coming up on the top here. Maybe. Engine brake mufflers required. Truckers. Well, I'm not a trucker. White River National Forest. Now we're in Pitkin County. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Thunder. Because the rocks were actively coming down the hill, they stopped traffic for about 30 minutes while they verified that no more were coming down, and they cleared the road. Eventually, they let everyone start moving again, and the turnoff onto County Road 3 was not far. I turned the camera back on after we made that turn towards the campground. It pays to have a coach that can make severe severe mm. turns. Welcome to bear country. Oh no. Bears. There couldn't be bears here. Yeah. Oh. Let's unhook here where it's nice and level. You can drive down with me. This is gonna be so cool. We are in the lower campground, which I picked, obviously, because Star Lake and solar. Technically, this was a pull-through site, but I shoehorned the coach into it such that I would had an amazing riverfront view. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't miss my next jeeping video when I was forced to do a U-turn out of a snowed-in devil's punch bowl. Sketchy at best. Thanks for watching.